Hi guys, so um, I just wanted to show you a couple of batches of soap that I just made in the last couple of days. So the first one here is Jamaican Bay Rum. And this is what it looks like. The only thing with this one is I wanted it to be black with like a black swirl, but the color morphed on me. So it just, it looks, I don't know, gray and brown. I don't know. And yeah, that's what that looks like. And it has, because of the, I put some titanium dioxide on this one to get the, the soap looking white. Um, I normally um, dissolve that in in the lye water and then I pour it into the oils but this time I decided to just like put it into the oils and for some reason that didn't work out so you can see the little um, titanium dioxide um, you know like specks of it that didn't dissolve all the way but it's not gonna hurt the soap it's still good so that one's good it smells so good this is my husband's favorite um, soap and then over here I have love spell and I'll show you this one because this is an end piece so this one I'm gonna keep for me um, this is what it looks like and it's got like it's like a a sea green or something the camera's picking up as blue but it's not it's like a sea green with swirls and sprinkles because um i have to go to sprinkles anonymous so that's what that one looks this is only a three pound and this one here is five this is three this is five and then over here i have um juniper breeze and this is what it looks like blue and just a natural color and glitter of course so that's what that looks like right here so and then over here I have fresh pear and I gave it a green color like a green color and cream and of course sprinkles I don't know what's wrong with me, but everything has to have glare, <laughs> except for the guy's soap. But um, other than that, yeah, I don't know what's wrong. So that's what that looks like. And this one was supposed to be, um, this one here was supposed to go into a mold, of course, and it was scented coconut. And of course, it seized, so I had to, you know, I said, oh, well, I'm not going to put it in a mold because then I'll have to line it again for another batch. So I just grabbed my silicone little molds and just popped it in there. And I said, I'll, I'll keep these for me. So, but it smells really good. And, um, yeah, but that's what I did with those. And then here I just cut some up. And then there were supposed to be bears, but look at that little nose. No nose. And this one too. The eyes didn't show up or nothing because of course it sees so it doesn't go into the mold smoothly. So look at this one. A one eye willy. So <laughs> this one has no eyes. He's blind. So and, and it got all kinds of holes. Yeah, it's kind of jacked up, but for me, for us, we'll use it here at the house. And then these little guys here. So, yeah, that's it. This is fresh pear. My jacked up coconut soap. <laughs> um, Juniper breeze right here. And then love spell right there. And then Jamaican Bay Rum. And this here, guess what I'm making? I am going to make some whip soap and I have all my stuff here this is all my um, my hard oils and 
some soft and I'm just whipping and then I have my lye chilling right there I want it to get cold so we'll see and that's it I will show you what this looks like when it's done I made one before but I wasn't very happy with it it had all kinds of craters so I never tried it again but I'm gonna give it another shot and this is I'm whipping this and then when the light gets cold enough um, it has to be cold cold you know like cold um, then I'll just mix it too and let's see what we get I'll show you guys and um, remember tonight at midnight is the ending of the contest so I will be announcing the winner on the first or the second so stay tuned for that okay thanks guys oh happy Halloween bye